preparation methods of ethane or alkane so now discuss so conformations so generally alkanes are exhibit conformations form so we can write conformations of ethane conformations of ethane so before conformations of ethane first we discuss conformation so conformation means the new geometries or new structures are produced due to c bond c means c c bond rotation or ring flipping or ring inversion is called as conformation means so different forms are produced due to c c bond rotation so means the c c bond undergoes rotation process or ring flipping process ring flipping or ring inversion process so in these three methods so different forms are produced so those forms are called as conformations so now in conformations of ethane so before writing of conformations of ethane each form should be the fischer projection formula should be converted to neumann projection formula before that we can represent for conformations of ethane so so generally the conformations of ethane so the generally the ethane structure is ch3 bond ch3 so in that you can first represent in fischer projection formula in that fischer projection formula this is your first carbon this is your second carbon again your first one and second one here the first carbon containing three hydrogens so this is your first carbon containing three substituents or three atoms here second carbon again containing three hydrogens so this is our fischer projection formula this fischer projection formula now we are converted to neumann projection formula so in this neumann projection formula you first write a circle the front carbon so this is our front carbon because here observer here from from the observer this is our front carbon this is again back carbon so your first carbon is front carbon second carbon is back carbon the front carbon is represented with a three lines three longest lines so in that front carbon three hydrogens are there here hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen so here this hydrogen is eclipsed with this one so means right hand side hydrogens are eclipsed with. so you can write like this the shorter the rare carbon the rare carbon or back carbon substituents are represented with shorter line means shortest line so these are the shortest line means front carbon substituents are represented with longest line and rare carbon or back carbon substituents or groups or atoms are represented with the shortest line so here so each cc bond angle is rotated by a 60 degrees rotation okay in conformation analysis we applicable for each degree gives a different types of structure but in finally in conformation analysis we applied only for 60 degrees or multiples of 60 degrees this so this molecule so in this the front carbon and back carbon diagonal angle is zero which means the theta equal to zero degrees so the diagonal angle is zero degrees this form is called as eclipsed form so this is your eclipsed form means in a conformation analysis the diagonal angle value is 0 degrees is called as eclipsed form this eclipsed form now again undergoes switch rotation here 60 degrees rotation whenever it is undergoes 60 degrees rotation in that front carbon is constant so front carbon is constant so you maintain front carbon is constant the front carbon containing three substituents hydrogen 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 whenever this rotation is during in clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction but in this example now and now applied i am clockwise direction whenever the clockwise direction about 60 degrees 60 degrees rotation this hydrogen is comes to nearer to here 
and this bond is rotation okay here back carbon and front carbon diagonal angle is 0 degrees but here back car front carbon and back carbon diagonal angle is 60 degrees okay in a confirmation analysis the diagonal angle is 60 degrees that confirmation is called as gauche form so that is called as gauche form so now this gauche form is again the confirmation analysis it again undergoes 60 degrees rotation the front carbon is constant we can maintain the front carbon is constant so the front carbon containing three substituents okay if it is undergoes rotation this hydrogen is comes to nearer to this one so it means shorter line so here so this hydrogen is comes to here and this hydrogen is comes to here so this one so this process is takes place here again the back carbon and front carbon is eclipsed together means theta equal to 0 degrees so means this is called as eclipsed form so this is your eclipsed form see here this eclipsed form and first eclipsed form is different see here because here all the hydrogens are same atoms so while representing see here so while they are representing of notation for example this is first hydrogen second hydrogen third hydrogen similarly four five six so same notations is applied for eclipsed form what happened the front carbon containing three substituents one two three so front carbon one this is two this is three here second the second hydrogen is eclipsed with fourth hydrogen here second hydrogen this is your fourth hydrogen here third hydrogen is eclipsed with fifth hydrogen and first hydrogen is eclipsed with sixth hydrogen so in this example first means the first the front carbon first hydrogen is eclipsed with back carbon sixth hydrogen so similarly here front carbon hydrogens are constant one two three so this is your sixth one this is your fourth one this is fifth one now applied for this one this is our one two three so this sixth hydrogen comes to near nearer to here this is our fourth hydrogen this is our fifth hydrogen see here the first confirmation form this is our one this is two this is three the first confirmation structure and third confirmation structure name is same eclipsed form eclipsed form but both are different because here h1 is eclipsed with h6 but here h1 is eclipsed with h5 both are different structures now this is undergoes 60 degrees rotation whenever this confirmation structure is undergoes 60 degrees rotation this is your front carbon is constant h3 this is h2 so here are in that here obtained your which hydrogen here h6 hydrogen this is your h 4 hydrogen this is h5 hydrogen so here h1 and h6 is separated by a 180 degrees bond angle because this is your 180 degrees bond angle this form is called as staggered form so this is called as staggered form and finally this molecule is again undergoes 60 degrees rotation so again by maintaining of first carbon is constant means the front carbon is constant what is your front carbon position h1 h2 h3 this is h2 carbon this is h3 carbon so this is staggered form is 60 degrees and finally gives eclipsed form this h6 is come comes nearer to here this is h4 this is h5 now this is again undergoes 60 degrees rotation by maintaining a front carbon is constant okay h6 h4 h5 and again this one is undergoes 60 degrees rotation and finally gives first structure and second structure is same see here this is your h6 h1 h2 this is h4 and this is h5 
so this is your roman number is third structure this is your fourth one this is your confirmation structure is fifth one this year this form is called as eclipsed form so diagonal angle is zero so this is your fifth confirmation form so this is again 60 degrees rotation is separated that is your gauche form this is your sixth one and this is again eclipsed form so this eclipsed form is seventh structure so means the seventh structure and first confirmation form both are same see here h1 is eclipsed with h6 h1 is eclipsed with h6 h2 h4 h3 h5 so same means the first confirmation structure and last confirmation structure is same here diagonal angle is 0 degrees here also 0 degrees so these are the confirmation structures of ethane means same the molecule the cc bond undergoes rotation process or ring flipping process or inversion process by using these three steps we are getting different types of structures but in confirmations of ethane we applied only rotation process okay so these in these confirmations of ethane generally the staggered form is more stable than eclipsed form so it exhibit only two forms one is staggered form and eclipsed form here staggered form is more stable eclipsed form is unstable because all the hydrogens are separated by a good angle here repulsions are present means here steric strain is present due to the presence of steric strain this form is unstable so here steric strain is absent this is stable